From the moment Bosch announced its new CX Gen 5 drive system for the upcoming year, the commuter and EMTB industry has been talking nonstop about it. A few months ago, DJI also grabbed the spotlight with its bold entry into the e-bike market. However, while most people were discussing Bosch and DJI, a group of enthusiasts remained loyal to their long-standing favorite, Bafang Motors. In the past few years, especially when Bosch was dragging their feet with new releases, Bafang came out swinging with a bunch of motors for all kinds of riders. Whether you're cruising on a regular e-bike or tackling tough EMTB trails, Bafang has really made a name for themselves in the community. Even though Bafang has been growing steadily and gaining market dominance, some people still see them as nothing more than clones of Bosch. Since we received such a great response for our last video comparing the Bosch CX Gen 5 and DJI Avinox, we decided to pit the new drive system against Bafang's one of the more efficient additions, the M820. So, let's not waste any more time and dive into the video, because we're excited to share all the details with you. So, let's start with the CX Gen 5 motor from Bosch. This one may look very similar to its predecessor, but the big improvements you'll find in its power, mounting system, and compatibility. Its motor is more lightweight than its previous one, weighing around 2.8 kilograms. It's because the mounting points are reduced from 4 to 2. This might seem trivial, but it packs a punch significantly. Fewer mounting points mean it gets easier to fit the motor into different bike frames. It also gives manufacturers more freedom to design their bikes the way they want, since it shares the same mounting system as the smaller Bosch Performance Line SX motor, both motors can be used in the same frame designs. On the flip side, the Bafang M820 is all about cranking up your ride's performance. Imagine a motor with a brand new stator and rotor that makes everything run smoother and more efficiently. Plus, it's got a narrower Q-factor. That's just a fancy way of saying the pedals are closer together, helping you transfer your power straight from your legs to the pedals without any hassle. And to top it all off, the motor sports a magnesium casing. This not only makes it lighter, but also keeps rust at bay and cuts down on those annoying vibrations, giving you a super smooth ride every time. One unique feature is of the motor is Rocky Mode button. It gives an extra boost when climbing hills or navigating tough terrain. And now, let's get straight to the point. As we already know, Bosch has a strong reputation for power. The CX Gen 5 maintains that with 85 newton meters of torque and up to 600 watts of peak power. This means you'll get around 340% assistance when riding. While the motor's exterior design hasn't changed much, Bosch has made improvements on the inside, particularly in the gearbox. These changes eliminate the clacking noise that some riders found irritating in older models, making the ride quieter, especially when going downhill. Another new feature is the two-bolt mounting system, which makes it easier for bike manufacturers to install or replace the motor. As for the Bafang M820, this motor is designed for a wide range of e-bikes, such as mountain bikes, e-road bikes, and e-gravel bikes. It offers 250 watts of nominal power and 75 newton meters of torque. Though it sounds less powerful than Bosch, you won't notice much difference while riding. However, Bafang focuses more on efficiency. They've improved the motor's internal design to make it more powerful without adding extra weight. The narrower Q factor helps make your pedaling more efficient, meaning you get better energy transfer while riding. It also supports higher pedaling speeds, reaching up to 120 revolutions per minute. Plus, Bafang has added a special rocky boost mode that gives you a quick burst of power when you need it most, like when climbing steep hills or tackling tough terrain. When it comes to the battery and charging, the Bosch drive system offers two new batteries to meet everyone's needs. These models are the PowerTube 600 and PowerTube 800. As the names suggest, the PowerTube 800 is the larger of the two, weighing around 3.9 kilograms and providing up to 800 watt hours of energy. Similarly, the PowerTube 600 offers around 600 watt hours of power and weighs around 3 kilograms. One cool thing about these Bosch batteries is that they're made to fit the same spot in your bike's frame. You might just need to tweak the battery cover a bit because of the different thicknesses. Plus, these batteries are part of Bosch's smart system, 
which means they connect smoothly with the motor. Instead of the usual black, Bosch went with a silver finish for the new batteries. This not only uses less material, but also makes them easier to recycle. By switching to bigger 2170 cells, Bosch has packed more energy into the batteries, giving you longer rides and faster charging. On the other hand, Bafang offers a different battery setup. They also provide two battery options, the F014.410. C and F050.B 360. C, the F014.410. C is a 410 watt hour in-tube battery, which you can easily remove for service. It weighs around 2.6 kilograms. The second one offers up to 360 watt hours of capacity and is slightly lighter at 2.2 kilograms. Bafang's batteries are smaller and lighter, but provide enough energy. However, if you compare them to Bosch, they aren't winning the competition. Bafang batteries are specifically made for compact e-bikes that prioritize agility over long-range power. Support modes are the kind of feature you look for right after considering the motor and battery. Though both drive systems come with similar riding modes, there are some differences in how they function. For instance, the Bosch CX Gen 5 provides four main support modes, Eco, Tour Plus, EMTB, and Turbo. Eco mode is perfect for conserving battery power, making it ideal for longer rides. Tour Plus and EMTB modes are more dynamic, automatically adjusting the power output based on the terrain you're riding on. Meanwhile, EMTB mode is more responsive and offers stronger support for technical climbs. It also includes an extended boost feature, which helps riders navigate tricky sections with controlled but powerful assistance. In contrast, the Bafang system offers up to five pedal assist modes, ranging from one to five. There is also a zero mode that turns off the motor entirely, allowing you to rely fully on leg power. This mode gives you time to decide which assist level to shift to for more flexibility. Bafang also includes a throttle, which allows riders to power the bike without pedaling. This is very helpful when the rider is tired and needs quick acceleration. However, the throttle uses more battery power, so it's important to monitor the battery level. Additionally, the Bafang system connects via Bluetooth 5.0 for better control and has a light activation sensor for added convenience. A drive system is worth its price when it comes with some cool extras. Let's dive into the CX Gen 5. This setup includes the new Purion 400 display, a small 1.6 inch color screen that fits right into your bike's cockpit. It has a simple design and always shows you the important info you need, but it doesn't have things like navigation or an e-bike lock feature. The display also works with Bosch's LED remote and system controller. Another handy feature is the built-in walk assist, which you can turn on by holding the minus button. Bosch's system uses intelligent software and sensors to adapt to your riding conditions. These sensors measure incline, tilt, and vibrations, so it can adjust the power output based on the terrain. The system also supports advanced safety features, like Bosch ABS and ABS Pro for better braking control. The Bafang drive system also offers some smart features, though it varies depending on the type of bike. For e-road bikes, Bafang uses the C263.CAN display, which has a 2.4 inch screen that shows important data like speed, distance, and battery levels in a clear and simple way. For e-mountain bikes, Bafang uses the larger C03 0.CA display, which also includes Bluetooth 5.0 allowing riders to connect their smartphones or other devices. Both displays provide all the essential information in an easy to use format, but they don't offer the advanced customization or dynamic motor support that Bosch's system does. Now let's talk about price and availability. It's something every rider considers to make sure a fair deal. As we know, Bosch's Gen 5 system is a part of their 2025 lineup, and they haven't shared the exact prices yet. However, Based on their previous products, it's expected to be priced reasonably for the advanced features it offers. With its improved motor, new battery options, and smart extras, it will likely be positioned as a premium product, but still fairly priced for the value it provides. For the Bafang M820 system, prices can vary depending on the seller and what's included. Some sell just the motor, while others offer full kits with batteries and displays. 
This flexibility makes it harder to pinpoint an exact price. But given the strong performance and features of the Bafang system, it offers good value for those who needs a versatile e-bike setup. So that was almost every key aspect of both drive systems. We've made this comparison to provide a quick overview of how they differ. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or verdicts, please share them in the comment section. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more exciting comparisons in your feed.